And here you can see what the data looks like. We have this time series. Of course, this is going to be two years worth of data. We have a treated region. And then notably, it is not a in a panel form, but it's a wide form. So we have the comparison units, the comparison markets that are all going to the right. Now, there are many techniques out there to get the synthetic control weights, but basically what you're doing is you're forming a weighted average of the untreated regions that when you put them together, they look like the treated region in the period prior to whatever event or treatment uh, start date. So in this case, I'm actually just going to fit a lasso model on the donors, so the other markets. I'm then going to use that lasso model and predict uh, the synthetic control. So I'm basically going to take the predictions out of that lasso model to develop the synthetic control. And then the treatment effects are really just in the post period where we take the actual values and we subtract this uh, weighted average of synthetic control. We can then look at what the average treatment effect is. So it's the, the average effect over that period, as well as looking at the relative effect, which is just dividing it by the, the baseline. So this is what the synthetic control looks like. And it shows the really important part here. All this before the treatment dates are in sample fit. After the treatment date, this is out of sample fit. So when you are comparing, when you're looking at this pre-period, it looks like an amazing fit. On the right-hand side, you are getting a combination of both out of sample fit and any treatment effect that truly exists. Now.